Hi, this is Linda with KC Creations. In the 15th century, each kingdom had a king, all rivals with all the other kings of their kingdoms. The civil war began for the one true king who ruled them all. This war was known as the War of Roses. This is my War of Roses journal. It, the paper set in it is from Polka Art Studios. I did use three of her sets. War of Roses, Medieval Nature, and Fantasy Medieval. It measures nine by six and it has a four and a half inch spine. It is a chipboard cover, so it's very hard. There's three sections, all held together with the twine. You can slide out the different sections if you want, slide them back in very easily. All the streamers of the chiffon ribbon are colors that I have used throughout the journal. We've got some gold antique lace here. We've got a burgundy ribbon with some burgundy roses there. A little saying from King Arthur. Somewhere in the world there is a defeat for everyone. Some are destroyed by defeat and some made small and mean by victory. Greatness lives in one who triumphs equally over defeat and victory. We have these little tiny tags on the front here. All the cards and tags throughout the journal are backed with another layer of cardstock and it keeps them very durable so they won't bend over you. I've got some ribbon here that matches the ribbon on the front and I have finished the ends so that it threads through the grommets very easily. This is the inside cover and if anybody saw the Game of Thrones when you see this that comes to mind. You've got the big dire wolf here and this to me looks kind of like Jon Snow. Opens up, we've got the beautiful carriage with the lovely maiden there. This is kind of a gold chiffon ribbon. Our first little flip here. We've got two cards in the pocket with the dragon there. You can see that I've cut the little pocket so it finished it off the image. There's another dragon. There's some of the soldiers in the army. Remove this paper clip and it is an envelope on the other side. I have got a wax seal here that is a rose in the center. It opens up and we've got these cards. There's a coat of arms. Lovely maiden of the court. And this is just a journal paper. It is paper. If I can get it unfolded here. There we go. Just an extra little journaling place for you. There's the backs. And what keeps the envelope closed, we can get going straight here, there we go, is this little gold jumbo paper clip. I've kind of put some red ribbon on it, some lace, tied a little piece of twine, and that holds it closed. On this side, we have four little pockets, and they have got antique bronze brads in the corner of each one. Bottom pocket here, and they have these little tabs. Got a knight, another maiden. You have a pocket in the front and a pocket behind the cab. So you can stick lots of stuff in here. So each pocket has two pockets. Here's, there's the map of the kingdoms. Another one of, she looks more like a winch back in those days. And back here we have some more. And here we've got 
two more. Some of the dragons, another dragon. As I pull out from the side, another one of the dragons. I cut out this coat of arms with the map of the kingdoms. And the little pins here open just like safety pins. You can open them and add something you'd like if you wanted. Let's open. Got a little pocket here. Some kind of rust colored baker's twine. It opens up. Use these little cards. And there's room in here. You can tuck something else as I pull out from behind. Make a good bookmark. On this side, we have a flip here. Another coat of arms, and I made another image so that the pocket would complete the full image. Dragon. And you'll see a bitter, bigger picture of this lady. She, if you saw Game of Thrones, she looks very much like Khaleesi. She was the mother of the dragons. Got a little pulled out from the top. This is a proclamation. This way, we've got a little band here. Some more of the knights. And the dragon. I can't remember the girl's name right at this moment. She was the redhead in Game of Thrones that was um, Eddard Stark's daughter. We have another angled pocket there and I have cut it out where you can see the lion there finishes the image there's a bigger picture of who I am naming Khaleesi that is my opinion there is a pull out from the top there's one of the carriages entranceway one of the castles. Anytime you see, uh, whether it be a chiffon ribbon, twine, uh, crinkle ribbon, whatever, there's going to be a hole and I put metal eyelets in them so it protects your holes over time and they won't tear out on you. We've got a side band here. It finishes the entrance to the castle. Pretty gates. Here we have a big side pocket, and I ordered, uh, added this. This is some tags I have uh, back from the King Arthur era. It says, for to die with honor is far better than to live in disgrace. It holds this guy. There's one of the knights coming out. And there's two pullouts from the side. This to me again looks like Jon Snow, his pretty white dire wolf. Opens this way. We've got a big band here. This little card. It's got a little pocket on the back. Soldier guarding the gates. Here we've got a band. This lifts out. I'll push this out of the way for a second. In the front of this one, this is red baker's twine. It's got a little dragon on the end. Opens up. You've got another little saying. This one from Merlin. It says Merlin said quietly because I'm wise. In the combat between wisdom and feeling, wisdom never wins. This 
hurts. with red baker's twine. It opens up. Let's pull it out of its little pocket. And we've got some big cards in here. It's one of the castles. Coat of arms with a sword. And the backing that I use is the medieval nature. 90% of them. This is your next section. There's the girl that I'm saying that looks like Khaleesi. You can see a bigger picture of her. With the snow white hair, little dragons in the background. Beautiful lady coming down, maybe one of the princesses. This is a green chiffon ribbon. This its closure. I've got a little flip here. And what I have done, let me pull this out for you. This is acetate, and I made another image, and I just cut it out around the castle. Here's the, card that goes in it. Okay. Here's the piece I cut out, the castle. And another dragon charm. This is sorry silk, as it's pulled. That one is another one of, looks like Khaleesi again. Sorry Silk is the pull. And it flips open. We've got an angled torn pocket here. Finishes the gates. There's another proclamation, a map of all the kingdoms. Here is a band there and I have cut it where it finishes out her image underneath her beautiful dress one of the crowns castles it has it pulled out from the top and I've cut out one of the roses as it's pulled for these cards. Another proclamation from one of the kings. Over here we have a belly band and I have made a vellum window in the shape of a coat of arms. This card. Put up here. And I've made a little picture frame of the lady here, and you take this little tab here, and it swings open. You can see the pretty flowers underneath. There's a little dragon there in the corner. And then you've just got some little journaling pages in here. I think there's five pages, which equals ten, which equals lots of writing space on it and you can add some more you just find the center of the twine and you can add some more of your pages under there if you would like there's plenty of room pull out from the side this beautiful desk with a mirror and this is one of the little um, emblems that are in the center of the journal pages and I just cut one out and made a pull. Opens again. 
get out the big dragon. This was one of my little frames that I added. It's got some little antique bronze brads there in each corner. Over here we have another flip. And I have cut around the castle there. And it finishes the image, the big wolf's on the top there. I put a crown on top of this card. Another one of the soldiers guarding the gates. There's a pull out from the side. Beautiful fountain. Swings open. Side band here. That I have cut around the image. It's one of the courtyards. Here we have a belly band. That holds this. We've got a little flip here. From the top. There they are in battle. This is one of the little coin envelopes that's in the kit. I just used it, put some tabs on it, and made a little swing there. We've got some more journaling paper for you. A little hidden note here and there. It's under the vellum window there. Pull up from the top. We've got some antique lace. It's coffee stained. Here's the back. Swings open. Pocket here. Another one of the little sayings. Is next, O oh, stars that shudder over me, O oh, earth that sound as hollow under me, next with wasted dreams. Here I've got a big belly band here, and I have made it acetate so when you remove the card. See the image completes the uh, the frame of the acetate completes the castle image underneath. Here's the card. Nice big journaling cards. Beautiful bed. Four poster bed. And swings open. Another little cut out of rose. This is some sorry silk back there. It's some antique lace. It holds this closed. Gonna pull out here. Another one of the beautiful castles. Here. There's another one of the soldiers. Into place there is a little pull. And then it swings down. Have a little pocket here. It says, But of all there were built of Britain's kings, it was Arthur the noblest, as I have heard tell. They are getting ready to go into battle. Here I have got some red eyelets and I've threaded it with some red chiffon. You do not have to untie it if you don't want. You can just reach in here and pull out the cards. A 
plenty of room under there for you to add something if you chose to. It does have a pull out from the back. This is the next section. Images. This burgundy ribbon. Get a little flip here. Little pocket. Get pull out from the top also. It's one of the castles with the dragon. See the dragon under there. Get pull out from the top. Dragon charm. Flips open. Long band again. These cards, and it finishes her gown here. This um, medieval nature backing paper here would be also great for a botanical journal. Got a flip up here, angled pocket. This really looks like Jon Snow. <laughs> I'm sticking to that. Let's get it pulled out from the side. Some blue chiffon ribbon. Open another angled pocket. It's a pro proclamation. It's pretty windows. Maiden lady coming down the stairs. Big band here. The sky. It says King Arthur had a dream too of a world where might served right instead of sub subjugating it. His kings of the round table were their agents of that dream, and his sword, Excalibur, the symbol of it. It holds these three little tiny cards. It's here. And another piece of paper for you to write on. Slide it in there. Swings open this way. We have two bands. These are some envelopes that come in the kit. Pretty lady. Cards in each one. Plenty of room in there for something you might want to add. And we have another one. Oops. A little bit in here. little saying about Guinevere and Lancelot. Got an angled pocket here. Take those out. You turn the little clock in. I'm be moving the journal up so you can see. This is all hidden journaling spots. 
little pocket here for these cards. Closed again. There is a pull out from the top. Big dragon charm. This one is open. Get a flip from the top. It's got its own pull out here. Another one of the King's Proclamations. Another little dragon charm. This one's open. Got some little flaps here tied with some twine. And again, you do not have to untie that. You can just slide the cards out. was um, one of the images off a corner page that I cut out to make the little pull here. I think we did that section, didn't we? I think so. Got a big band here. This card. Push this out of the way for a second. This is a card with two other cards. A little saying there from Arthur. He just fits into the medieval times. Then we have a pull up from the side. Another pull out from the top. Another one of the big dragon charms. It's at the right place, here we go. There's a nice German place on the back. There's so much in this, I get confused on what I've done. Okay. This is the very back. This is your actual journaling pages. It's held with a great big antique bronze clamp. It's tied with the twine. So again, if you find the center, you can add whatever pages you would like. Just slide them underneath the cord. And altogether, I believe there is 72 writing surfaces that I've put in here. So lots and lots of pages. I picked the ones where you had the most writing space. Most of them are the medieval nature pages. Beautiful images there. You can get the idea without seeing them all, but... right back on. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. Stop by Polka Art Studios. Get your own collection of her Warren Roses. Have a great one. Bye-bye.